this dedication to education and nurturing young parents was evidenced by the establishment of the Lizzy Wanyoike Preparatory and Senior School. A testament to her unwavering commitment to shaping the minds of the younger generation and providing them with a strong foundation for success both in school and at home. Promotion to glory. Three years ago, Lizzie faced health challenges that tested her strength and resilience. Undeterred she sought treatment in Kenya, India, and the United States displaying incredible courage throughout her journey. On January 14, 2024, Rizzi took her well-deserved rest, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. As we reflect on Rizzi's life, let us remember her as a woman of vision, compassion, and determination. Let us carry forward the torch she lit, ensuring that her legacy lives on in the hearts of those she touched. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Chache ni geo matulivu Kwa ajili ya maisha Ya daktari Lizzie Mothani Wanyoike Kini kidogo
management of NIPS. We the NIPS College Choir is going to do a song fused with the great works Mama did for us. And the second one is Maskanyangu, Maskanyangu Nikole Ju Binguni. Thank you.
Asanteni sana. Asante, asante. Nixon tafadhali. Mahakamani wa chuo tafadhali pia jumuikeni kwenye foleni ili tuweze kuokoa muda kwa ajili ya wakati najua ambalo nawaka. Mabibi na mabwana wanaoingia ni wanafunzi bado wa shule ya Lizi wanyweke. Wakiongozwa na mwalimu wao Edwin. Wanaoingia sasa ni wanafunzi wa madarasa ya juu, grade ya tano, grade ya sita, grade ya saba na grade ya nane katika mtaala mpya wa CBC. Pia hao wamekuja kumwomboleza mama yao. shule ya Lizi wanyoike tangu mwanzo waliweza kujiunga na shule hiyo tarehe 11 mwezi wa Januari mwaka 2021 ambapo ndio siku rasmi shule ya Lizi wanyoike preparatory school ilianza na waliweza kupokelewa kwa mikono mizuri ya mama yetu ambaye amepumzika katika hili njema ya baba washika wote na takriban wanafunzi wote isipokuwa wale ambao wamejiunga nasi mwaka huu waliweza kukutana naye moja kwa moja na kushiriki naye katika mazungumzo katika milo katika kucheza na mambo mengine mengi Madam Lizzie pia ndiye aliyekuwa wa kwanza kuwatangulizia kitengo cha guidance and counseling pale ambapo aligundua kwamba wanafunzi wengine walikuwa kipitia masuala ambayo yalikuwa magumu kwao. Na ndiye aliyekuwa wa kwanza kuwa counselor wao wa kwanza. Hivyo kwenye mioyo yao wamempoteza mfawithi, mama, mlezi, grandma na zaidi ya yote kiongozi. Karibuni wanafunzi wa Lizi.
sote tuweze kusimama wima tuweze kumtukuza baba yetu wa mbinguni na kumkaribisha madamu bishop askofu 
aweze kutupatia ujumbe kutoka kwa baba basi mabibi na mabwana naomba tusimame wema nikiwaalika waimbaji kwa mkupo huo huo ijapokuwa ni kwenye huzuni Mungu anabakia kuwa Mungu kwa hivyo ningependa sote tujumuike pamoja na waimbaji hawa tuweze kumtukuza na kumwimbia Mungu wetu ili hapo tuweze kumwalika Mwathamu askofu wa jimbo la Thika Mwathamu Julius Wanyoike karibuni praise and worship Shall we? 
second letter of Paul to Timothy chapter 2 beginning to read from verse 1 second letter of Timothy to second Paul of letter of Paul to Timothy chapter 2 beginning to read from verse 1 you then my son be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, and trust them to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. Endure hardship, hardship with us like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. He wants to please the commanding officer. Similarly, if anyone competes as an athlete, he does not receive the victor's crown unless he competes according to the rules. The hard-working farmer should be the first to receive a share of his crops. Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all things. Remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, descended from David, and this is my gospel for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, he will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. This is the word of God. Also read from the book of our prophet Isaiah, chapter number 49, from verse 8. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor I have answered you. On a day of salvation I have helped you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. They shall feed along the ways, on all the bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them, and by springs of water will guide them. Master, speak to us as your servants. We continue to uphold the family of Lizzie into your hands, that as they live this moment of deep introspection, that Heavenly Father, your graces shall abound, shall abound in their lives. We lay the plans to lay her remains into your hands, that you may provide, that you may give and enable people to create time 
as we have done this afternoon to raise in the hearts of those who have known her the consciousness that is pricked to lead lives that are worthy and holy to your holy name and for us who are gathered here this afternoon as the faculty as students and learners as parents and friends we seek that you shall speak to us in the ways in which shall honor and glorify thy holy name this we ask through christ our lord amen the family of lizzie the faculty the students the learners in different grades the parents those who have come here former staff of this institution like our madam Aurelia Rono, a PS, the clergy who are here with us from various denominations. We come to condole with you and also give glory to God for what Rizzi meant to each and every one of us. I request we continue to bear the pain of the scorching sun, but I will not be very long. Last year, Lizzie invited me, and it was on this ground that we had the graduation of the class that was leaving, the various academic certificates that were to be awarded to them. That was my last time to be with her. Then we were facing this side. Today we are facing the opposite side. I have known and interacted with Madam Lizzie in different ways. But I stand on this ground as a testament of what she spoke and said to many and she bore in her heart and of what impact it made to me and to us who are gathered here. The words of prophet Isaiah, them that are in the hands of the Lord, they shall not hunger, nor thirst, neither scorching weed nor sun shall strike them down. For he who has pity on them will lead them. This is a profound text as we remember Madam Lizzie. I will share a few thoughts using the passage of scripture in second letter of Paul to Timothy in chapter 1 and in chapter 2 even as I speak as she is in our midst and as we reflect as she is in our midst. Madam Lizzie new majority of us the parents who are here brought their sons and their daughters and in one way or another she knew our lives and how such our lives can be and i say this to you even as i say to myself we need to rekindle the gift of god that is in us as she saw in us and as the Lord would reveal unto her that it could come out to be as we carry out in learning through the various courses in our lives. There is a need for you and me to reconsider the gifting of God and what the skill that we are taking what it can impact in the lives of those who be around us rekindling the gift of god that is in us be it from a member of the faculty or be it from a student taking a course in journalism yesterday we had honorable karongo Adangwa, who was once a staff in this institution 
the passion and the manner in which he carried out his own work as a member of the faculty. This afternoon we are equally joined by Madam Aurelia Rono and others who are here in whom Madam Rizzi saw a gift that could impact in one way or another. I call upon you to consider rekindling the gift that is in you as she saw in us and desired that we may perfect our skill in life. Lapili ni viema kuto ibika kwa karama tulio nayo na namna tunavyo iendereza katika maisha yetu tukiwa walimu tukiwa wanafunzi au tukiwa wazazi there is no need for you to be ashamed of the gifting of god and paul would tell timothy do not be ashamed then of the testimony about our lord or of me his prisoner but join me in suffering for the gospel relying on the power of God. Hamna haja yako kuwaibika. Ni taaluma gani utakayo yenderesha au ni yapi umeyasoma katika maisha yako bali ni vyema na ni dhahiri kuwa shujaa shupafu tunapoendelea yale ambayo tunayafahamu ni kipawa na karama ya Mungu katika maisha yangu. Na sio tu kwa sababu sisi ni digitali kwa vipawa tunavyoweza kutumia bali kwa kutegemea nguvu na uwezo wa Mungu katika maisha yetu. We should not be ashamed of who we are and what is in us. Madam Lizzie was passionate she was thrifty to that which she saw and she believed and was never ashamed to passionately speak, admonish, counsel, rebuke, and even encourage where necessary. It is how we rely on the power of God that the gifting in us can take root and create the impact in our own lives. May we never, ever be ashamed of who we are or where we have passed through. We need to forget the past over the challenges that we encounter and walk in the power of God so that we can be able to accomplish that which the Lord has laid in our hearts. Thirdly, we need to hold on unto what we have already received and gotten in the manner of teaching all the instruction that we have received in our lives. Paul writing to Timothy in the second chapter, uh, in chapter 1, Hold on to the standards of sound teaching that you have heard from me in faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Kuna mengi ambayo Madam Lizzie aliweza kutueleza. Sasa letu tunapo kumbuka maisha yake ni viema kushikilia ya chuo katika maisha na matendo yetu. So it is how we lead our character. It is how we relate with one another. In the networking. It is how we perceive the essence of what we have received and known. That we will continue to create an environment in which change shall thrive. Lizzie in the heavenlies. You desire to see us holding on for gender holding on for the children holding on 
for every parent who has brought their sons and their daughters holding on to that which is of sound teaching in our lives and that which we heard from her she will speak in the media every one of us will hear her she will stand in churches and institutions her passion and enthusiasm may that which we heard we keep on holding on because there is a need for us to do so as a legacy in our hearts Latatu, it is important for us to hold God over what we know. God, the good treasure, entrusted it to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. Many other times we drop God. In what we have heard, in what we know, na mengine yanatokea na yanakuwa bara katika maisha yetu when a sentry is at the gate he or she may lift the guard or the bar that prevents a vehicle from entering many other times we are crushed by the guard bar as we enter into different spheres of life. Madam Lizzie spoke to us so that we can be alert both in spirit and in our mind, in our intellect and in the skills that we have continued to learn. Guard that deposit. Guard that treasure. Live in the awareness of what Madam Rizzi spoke passionately in her life so that you shall not stumble in your life. I remember yesterday Mr. Alan was speaking of how he was given a dress down and an instruction in how you scoop soup. Is it eating soup? Where are you Alan? Uko wapi? Yuko humu humu. How you scoop soup. These are skills that you learn in life. Guard the good treasure. For you as a student or as a learner, there is a deposit that lies made in you. May the deposit and treasure be not picked by the birds of the air or by those who are not noble in your lives. And as she looks at us from the heavenlies, it is need for you and me to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Kuna mengi ya kutuvunja moyo. Ni katika matendo, ni katika maneno, ni katika kupelekwa na kuelezwa ni kwa mengi tutaweza tunaweza kumchukiza Mungu katika maisha yetu. May rise from the heavenlies. See us strong in the grace that comes from the Lord in what we do and who we are. As children, you need to be strong for your mother stood strong for you did the best that she could for you to be where you are. May you be strong in every way, within your mind and in your spirit. There is also a warning for us, as we remain diligent, as we guard, as we remain strong. In verse 4 of second letter to Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 4, no one serving would ever desire to be entangled in one way or another in affairs that not relate to the calling that the Lord has given unto them. May we safeguard our ways so that we shall not be entangled with that which can make us fall down. Madam Lizzie spoke, she was in our midst 
to ensure that we stand tall in life, to ensure that we become connected, to ensure that we are reconnected in ways in which are noble in our lives. Yes, I do remember her forgiving spirit and how she will be able to reabsorb her stuff even when it wasn't in the best challenging situations that she would ever desire such a staff all a student is in. No one serving will ever be entangled. As she looks at us from the heavens, may she a people who are able to follow the ways of the Lord, hearing the voice of the Lord from the right and from the left is saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. May we continue to serve being steadfast in the manner that she has always spoken to us in our lives. And when we are tested, Paul gives Timothy the example of a farmer and the example of an athlete. The patience and the endurance that is in the farmer and in an athlete. It is up to you and me to gain courage and strength so that we shall be victorious. Yes, in our low moments, physically and spiritually, and even financially, she never allowed herself to be pulled down by that which was around her. It is the example of a farmer, the example of an athlete, how a farmer harvests a rich crop and how an athlete is crowned after remaining competitive that Madame Lees will always succeed in whatever she did. Let us think of what she said even as we read in verse 7 of 2 Timothy chapter 2. Think of what I say for the Lord you give you understanding in all things. May the spirit of Madame Lizzie see us as a men and women who are deeply reflecting over what we hear saying around us and done around us. May we gain understanding over what is around us. The psalmist would say, help me to number my days. Help me to have a heart of understanding. This is what is imperative for us as we treasure her life and remember her in the ways that we can this afternoon. It is the manner that we take note of what she said. It is the manner in which we can see her piercing eye looking at us that we can gain understanding over the times that we are in. And even in such moments of suffering, may we suffer, not because we are criminals, but because we are being tested in our life of faith. And for the sake of the faith that we have in our lives, may we also endure so that those who are around us in the skills and the trades that we learn here, even in the classes and the grades that we succeed, so that the faith of many will be uplifted. And it is this faith that Lizzie continued to testify. If I die with him, I will also live with him. If I die with Christ my Lord, I shall also live with him. And it is in this, the words of Paul to the Romans in chapter 14, verse 7, 8, 9, are remain truthful for her and should be to us. We must never live for ourselves, but I must always live for Christ. For even when he shall have called us home, as he has done to our beloved Madam Lizzie, we shall live with him.
she is in the hands of the Lord and so we shall also be called at our appointed time may we never live for ourselves but rather live for him who has given time and space eternal father may your words remain true as we had and as we lived with madam lizzie may what she spoke to us remain treasure enable us to have a faith enable us to be steadfast enable us never to be ashamed of who we are and what we can ever do and may her spirit and the eternal presence always remain as a way in which our conscience will remain alive in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. It is well with our souls. It is well, it is well with our souls. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, our Lord Bishop, for that encouraging message that you have given to us, and especially to Anthony and the siblings, the brothers and sisters of the late Liz the NIBS Fraternity and Liz Wajuike Preparatory and to all of us who have come to celebrate the life of this great woman who has touched our lives in one way or the other. On behalf of the church, all of you, we bring our heartfelt our condolences a Lord Bishop, before I give the mic back to the MC, the MC allow me to do the introduction of the clergy, so that once I give you the mic, then you'll be able to run uh, throughout. Is that okay? Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, MC. And before then, the Bishop will pray for the family, uh, then we will continue with the rest of the service. May I request all the pastors who are around us to stand, if you are a pastor, you are seated in the congregation. Please, would you stand? Do we have pastors in the congregation? Yes, just stand. Let's appreciate all these pastors who have come uh, to mourn together with us. We indeed appreciate your coming and being together. Thank you. Thank you. Take your seats. Allow me to introduce uh, Pastor Elizabeth uh, from Deliverance Umoja. Just wave the congregation. Thank you. Let's appreciate her for coming. They have a history with Madam Liz from Temple College. That is the relationship that Elizabeth has uh, with Madam Liz from Temple College, and they have remained friends up to date. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, uh, for coming. We have Reverend Daniel Burrow from AIPCA Roiro, a former student of NIPS. So Nibs, this is your colleague, he's a former student and he is now a clergy serving with AIPCA based in Loido. An applaud for him please. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. We have Reverend Gatoma from St. Mark's Westlands. Let's welcome him with an applaud. Thank you so much Reverend for coming. Uh, we have Reverend Pat. Oh, Rob. Rupert, uh, Reverend Rupert, also from St. Mark's Westlands. Let's appreciate him for coming. Uh, thank you, thank you. Then we have Reverend Captain Frank, who is the Bishop's Chaplain. Let's appreciate him. 
Uh, thank you. We have Reverend Sarome Kimani, a parent at Riz Preparatory and a clergy, serving in St. Michael and Owen Josruino. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. And my name is Joseph. I minister with the Anglican Church. I am just a neighbor here at the back. I minister at St. Paul's Mukoyoine at the Anglican Church, where we all of you uh, are glad to have all of you. And on behalf of St. Paul's Mukoyoine, we bring our heartfelt our condolences. Without much ado, I want to invite the bishop to do the prayers for the family as we continue with the rest of the program. Kabla hatuja waumbea familia, nigependa kumwalika mwalimu, akaweze kutuongoza na vipo. Siki kama unafahamu, aninataka kuingia. Ninataka ku... I'm not a choir master, but uh, I'm trying to cross over at the ring that I am not <laughs> gifted. But tutajaribu. If you have it in your phone, please just browse it. Ninataka kuingia, get the lyrics, and then maybe the keyboard player, you can be able to get the notes. Okay. We will do in Kiev. Kiev. Najua wengine tunasema kuna KJ. Aye. Eh. Mi nataka ko
Ningependa wote tukasimame ili tuombe kwa ajili ya familia tunao walioko hapa na wanawakilisha familia yote tutaomba tu wakiwa hapa na tunapoomba kuna neno la Mungu katika kitabu cha Jude Jude is only one chapter and verse 20 21 But you beloved you lap yourselves up on your most holy faith pray in the holy spirit keep yourselves in the love of god look forward to the mercy of our lord jesus christ that leads us to eternal life na tuombe kama tunanyosha mikono yetu tunapowabariki Mwenyezi Mungu Tusema ni asante kwa familia hii ya Madam Lizi. Wanaposononeka moyoni mwao kwa kumpoteza mzazi, dada na pia mfathiri katika chuo hiki na mwanzilishi. Wanapotafakali maisha yao jinsi itakavyokuwa kwa maana umempokea. Bwana tuwaomba neema yako na baraka yako ikatua katika maisha yao ili mawazo yasije kuwa yanawazomba bali kwa wema na baraka zako waone neema na baraka yako ikiwajia Tuomba Bwana wakaone mkono wako wa kulia ukiwa katika maisha yao ukiwahimiza kuzingatia hatua kila kuchapo ili neema yako na baraka yako idhihirike wanapofanyika kwa kazi yoyote watakayoendelesha tuomba bwana kwa chochote wanachokihitaji hakuna watakalo au watakachokikosa kutoka kwa kiti chako cha enzi tuomba kwa ajili ya mawazo yao tuomba kwa ajili ya kazi na huduma Tuomba kwa ajili watakayo yataka kuyahusisha na kuyahusika katika yote watakayo yatenda ili Bwana wema wako na baraka zako zikawa pamoja nao. Tuombea uwezo katika mawazo, tuombea kuwepo kwa kila dakika na sekunde watakapohitajika katika miradi na katika ufadhili na kwa na kazi zote ambazo mjakazi wako na muhudumulizi alizozifanya heavenly father may your eternal presence gladden their hearts may the joy that comes in trusting in you be every time be evident heavenly father may your graces that they so require be present in their lives and even as they continue to prepare and ensure that, that which they so desire to be visible of a what is interpreted in their hearts heavenly father enable them to do it for your own glory we bless this lisa's family and the works she did in this institution and in their lives we bless the tutors those in the administration those in practicals those who are students in various skills and in various courses we bless those in this wanyoike preparatory and we commend them into your hands that they may or see you in their midst in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit amen natuketi tutaendelea kwa tikaratba au jinsi tukavyoelezwa before we take our seats let's all let's stand once again we sing my sin when peace like galiva the story the fun stands as we transit tusimame tafadhali madam liz never got tired so praise team 
you can lead us in the fastest stanza. When peace like a liver attended my way, when sorrows like sea be rose roll, whatever my Lord thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. Let's take our seats. MC Bhakti. Asante sana. Mwathamu Askofu. Familia Dr. Elizi Wanyoike. Wafadhi Wote wanafunzi wote pamoja na wazazi na wageni waalikwa akiwemo PS Aurelia Rono nafasi hii tena tunachukua kwa ajili ya jumbe fupi fupi za maombolezi zitakazotolewa na wanafunzi walimu na watu tofauti kwa ajili ya daktari Lizi Mudhunyeki mwanzo nitamwalika Nibs alumni ambaye alikuwa ameandaliwa kwa ajili ya jambo hili Nibs alumni aliyekuwa ameandaliwa atafuatwa na mwanafunzi wa Nibs College akifuatwa pia Wale ambao nimetaja tafadhali tujiandae kwa mtindo na kwa mpango huo huo Ile ambaye anasimamia wanafunzi atafuatwa na anayesimamia Eh, wana wanafunzi na walimu wa, ch- wa shule ya msingi ya Lizi vile vile wale beneficiary kuna mmoja ameandaliwa kwa ajili ya tribute hiyo Lizi Wanyuke scholarship beneficiary wajipange hivyo hivyo karibu the clergy the clergy family and friends, members of staff, parents, alumni present, students and learners, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is with heavy hearts that we, the alumni of Nips Technical College, come together to bend down our collective gratitude and fold memories in tribute to our beloved mom and principal, Madam Lizzie Wanyoike. As alumni, we had the privilege of passing through her corridors that she guided. We reflect on her impact on our lives and the enduring legacy she leaves behind. Madam Lizzie was not just a principal. She was a guiding light during our for- formative years at Nipstringo College. Her leadership was marked by a rare blend of firmness and compassion, creating an environment that encouraged both academic excellence and personal growth. Madame Lizzie's personal touch set her apart. She offered words of encouragement during challenging, challenging times and celebrated our achievement as if they were her own. Her impromptu meetings were not just administrative sessions, but expression of her genuine care and concern for each student's well-being. Madame Lizzie's influence did not end on the graduation day. As alumni, we carried her teaching into our diverse path, finding strength in the resilience she instilled and drawing on the wisdom she imparted during those impromptu counseling sessions. Her impact transcended the school walls, echoing in our professional and personal life. We fondly remember the open door of Madame Lizzie's office, the warmth in her smile, and the unwavering support that made Nips Tengo College feel like a second home. Her legacy lives on the co- uh, comradeship she nurtured among us, creating bonds that withstand the test of time. As we say our, good fi- uh, our final goodbyes to Madame Lizzie, we do so with hearts full of gratitude, 
her leadership, mentorship, and unwavering dedication have left an indelible mark on each of us. In the deep street of Nip Technical College, alumni, Madam Lizzie's influence remains an enduring thread weaving through the fabric of our collective memories. To Madam Lizzie Wanyoike, our mom, mentor, guide, and principal, we, the alumni of Nips Technical College, have crowned you the passionate mother of wisdom. You are seen as a wise and caring mother, and we express our deepest appreciation and heartfelt thanks. Your legacy lives on the countless lives you touch, and as we carry your teaching forward, we honor the profound impact you had had shaping our academic and personal journey. Rest in peace, Madam Lizzie, knowing your spirit lives in the heart of your grateful alumni. Uh, so, thank you very much. Uh, this time I would just like to request all NIBS alumni to stand up. NIBS alumni, kama unajua wewe ulisomea NIBS na ulimaliza, uh, kindly just stand up. Nibs alumni, stand up, tafadali. Tupigie makofi, tafadali, yes. Uh, have a seat, thank you, have a seat. Uh, next, I'll call upon uh, Nibs student, Nibs current student, Nibs current student who had a tribute, Nibs current student. George, where are you? George, George. Arakisha, Arakisha Tafadali. Stupigia Makofi Tafadali. And then next will be followed by Lizzie Wanyoike, scholarship beneficiary. Uh, because Mnajua Mama alikuwa ameshikilia watoto wengi kimasomo. So next will be Lizzie Wanyoike, uh, scholarship beneficiary. Karibu. Weka, weka. Niweka. Weka uru. No way, wake. In a lease, the clear wake. Nicky do the three ha ha, wake. Tawega. A reclear wake, curry way. A reca wake, curry ye, George. Guada. She loved to stay with young people. She loved to see success of young people. She loved to help young people. Lazy do not love lazy young people. Alipenda tu kwa ita anawongele share. Today I'm giving out this tribute spoken word piece because Liz always was giving us pieces of advice. Thank you, mom. Morning. But the whole country is mourning and yet we put it out. 
it is not for Liz, many of us could be useless. But because of her, many of us, we are useful. Personally, before I was a fool. But now look at me, I'm full of praise just because of Madam Liz. Liz, I'm a fan of what we the future. Liz, I'm a fan of what we are Liz, I'm a fan of
Uh, you have just one minute because of the interest of time. Before you are the Lizzie Wanyu UK beneficiaries. I just have one word to all of us that success success is always sweet when you share that bread with someone else. Therefore, our mom paid our bills in hospitals. There are so many people that our mom touched. From the students who are about to drop out, from the students in secondary schools, from the churches, we have seen him, we have seen her pay bills to different hospitals like Kenyatta, Mama Lucy, several places. She has bought motorbikes for so many people. Yes. And therefore, I'll just read a tribute uh, about mom. As we gather in remembrance of a remarkable woman who touched our lives in immeasurable ways, we, the beneficiary of Madam Lizzie Wanyoki Foundation, come together to express our heartfelt gratitude to Madam Lizzie Wanyoki's dedication to education and our unwavering support that have paved the way for countless, countless dreams and flourish in tributes we share our stories of transformation and honor of a woman whose, found, whose foundation made our dedication, aspiration, businesses, lives to be a success. We are who we are today because of Madam Liz Wanyoike. Madam Lizzie Wanyoike was more than a benefactor. She was a beacon of hope for those of us who might not have seen a way forward in pursuing our education. He, her foundation became a lighthouse, guiding us through financial challenges and ensuring that education, the key to our future, remain within reach. Madam Rizzi believes in the transformative power of education was the driving force behind her foundation. Through her generosity, she not only provided financial assistance, but also empowered us to dream beyond our circumstances. Her support wasn't just about finding it, it was about instilling the confidence the, that education could break the chains of limitation. Dagitare Lizzie Wanyoiche's foundation went beyond monetary assistance. It extended a compassionate hand that lifted us during moments of doubt. Her genuine interest in our academic and personal well-being genuine interest in our academic and personal well-being created a support system that transcended financial aid. We were not just recipients, we were embraced as part of a larger family and our foundation became a symbol of solidarity and encouragement. Today, as beneficiaries of Madam Lizzie Wanyoike's foundation, we stand as living testimonies to the impact of her philanthropy. From classroom to careers, her investment in our education has borne fruits, enabling us to pursue our passion, contribute to society, and strive for a brighter future. In expressing our gratitude, words often feel inadequate to capture the anonymity of the impact Madame Lizzie had on our lives. Her foundation wasn't just funding education, it was inventing in human potential, resilience, and the belief that every student, regardless of her financial constraints, deserve the chance to shine. Madam Lizzie Wanyuike's foundation remains a living legacy, shaping futures and inspiring dreams. 
as beneficiaries we carry her spirit forward commit, committed to making the most of the opportunities she provided madam lizzie your kindness and dedication have transformed lives and we are eternally grateful for the gift of education you bestowed upon us lest in peace ma'am knowing that your legacy uh, lives on the in the success says of those you supported lest in peace madam lizzie panyoike thank you Thank you. Tuwa pigia makofi tafadhali. Uh, thank you. Lizzie wanyoike uh, beneficiaries wa scholarship. Uh, next I'll call upon uh, Lizzie wanyoike preparatory representative and uh, the staff. Tuwa rakishe tafadhali. Lizzie wanyoike preparatory uh, representative and staff. Goodbye. 
We received the news on that great Sunday and wish that it was a nightmare we would eventually wake up from. But no, it's a new phase, era, and time to look back at the memories we all had. Heavens gained handsomely. A mother to all of us, a sweet grandmother to all the children, a mentor to many, a role model to the young generation, a philanthropist to the destitute, a good boss to your employees, an educator through your profound passion for education. In fact, we give you a new title, a mother of education. Your love has given life to others, Madam Lizzie, we children being among them. We remember how you visited us in class just to say hi and check on us. You would then casually ask, are you happy? And we would say a resounding yes. You would then smile at us, wave and say, say hi to your parents and tell them I love them. Madam Lizzie, we celebrate your life. We will take all your life teaching to make our lives better. We will emulate your humility and selflessness to be people of substance in future, just like you. We want it said of us that we inherited the attributes of our school director, that we inspire and give hope to those who have despaired. Madam Lizzie, even in your death, just know that the whole world is hurting. Not because you have gone to be with the Lord, but because we have been robbed of a gem, a very special precious stone that we dearly treasure. As your children, we have one message for you. Rest assured that we are the future Lizzie Modoni Wanyoike. We will continue lighting up the world with the candle you passed to us. You will be proud of us in heaven. That we promise, Madam Lizzie. I may not tell the world everything about you for now, but what everybody knows is that for sure, God has plucked the best flower from his garden. You are in a better place, Madam Lizzie. We will live to reminisce your passion, dedication, and contribution towards life. Rest in perfect peace, our heroine, till we meet again. Thank you. To begin my coffee, tennis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, because of the interest of time, let me take this humble opportunity uh, to call upon the management, uh, Mr. Jeremiah Mnene, our Chief Head of Academic Affairs. Situmkaribisha kwa makofi tafadhali. Thank you, Venerable Canon Joseph, uh, PS, Aulidi Arono, uh, the directors who are here, uh, men of, and women of growth, one of Funzi, Wazazi Wali's preparatory, Walim, and everybody, good afternoon. If you can see me, just wave at me, please, just wave at me. Thank you, thank you. I will lead a tribute on behalf of NIPS Technical College staff and also this Wanyoike preparatory. Just like the Bible tells us of the right and sort of the world, indeed, Madam Lizzie Wanyoike was our right and was our sort. She was a beacon of hope to all of us. Let me sample a few feelings uh, from people who after learning of her demise said as follows. There is a student who wrote this. I remember her to be a very jovial and loving woman. 
When she came to our church and I introduced myself as the head of IT in the church, she was so happy to hear that. I am a student from her college and she said, and I will quote, I'm so proud of you. Continue with the good work. It is never in vain. Indeed, she has left an amazing legacy for all of us to remember. Lisi, less twelve, and you will be forever remembered. And this is a student called Shalom from the ICT department. Another is a student, a student who later became Nick's staff. Over almost that student who we had trained have been employed at NIFS Technical College or Lisa Wanrike Preparatory. And this is what they had to say about the dynamics. We as NIFS alumni would like to give gratitude to our mom, Madam Lizzie, for sharing our lives, for shaping our lives through education and employment at NIFS Technical College. This is evidence she was a rewarder of hard work. Thank you for believing in us and we promise that we will never let you down. You will forever be in our hearts. Shine on your way, sweet mom. This is uh, somebody else who also said this. Uh, after a normal interview in her office, she was excited that we were former JMC student. She noted that we were struggling with finances as our machines said it all. She gave us 95,000 cash yakununua equipment. Joseph Gichohi, owner of Gedima Radio na Kohapa. Is that not been a beacon of hope? This is when you get scholarship uh, foundation, they were here. Uh, let me avoid that, reading that. A stranger I did not know told me this. Nimeambiwa unafanya nips. Ni ukweli lizi ya metuaga. Na nikuwa atoheaga mataro mega. That, those were the words. Uh, let me tell you facts about Lizzie Wanyuike. She had a culture of attending barrio in person at any student funeral and the fees was always reimbursed. Another fact, she is a generous giver. Her scholarship program for both new staff and parents from primary and secondary school said all. There are over 3,000 students who have been assisted by Madame Lizzie go through their education. And figures don't lie. In 2018, she gave fees to 170 students. 2019, 129. 2020, this is, was during COVID, 63. 2021, there were 36. 2022, I did not capture, there were 75. And 2023, 95. And this January, the, we had already released checks for 16 students. In addition, she used to spend about 1 million per term in secondary school and primary school. I was looking at the data every time, there are about 75, 62 whose fees is paid in full at those level. You can imagine how many years she has assisted. If every year it is roughly 4 million times we have been here for the last 20, even call it 10 years, that is a cool 40 million given to needy students. I remember even the last time she visited and when Nabucanon was there, she visited my church, ACK Judea uh, uh, Quarry Church, 
she came and surprised me uh, and of course she came with a good check this is an indication of how good she was in giving she had a lot of respect for staff and student there is a day i saw her running and i'm saying literally running outside my office and when i followed her because i thought something the time we require our shabab i thought something had happened and uh, she was evacuating herself and i joined her just to find that she had seen somebody through her window who had fainted in the parking lot na kaenda akasaidiana na wengine kumuinua tu i almost i was almost tempted to take a photo nikakumbuka ni my boss naweza kupoteza kazi ningeaonyesha hiyo i truly wanted to empower young people through an education through ensuring there is the right facilities there was also creation of support offices those attachment offices you are aware of the guiding and counseling department are cutting across all the institutions uh, it is because of the need to ensure that she walked the talk that she assist student be empowered as i conclude uh, if Lizzie was today was here today she would have talked about and this i'm saying having been with her for the last 13 years i would know she would either talk all of this or maybe one or two and one of them he would have talked to married men na anatuambianga hivi and i'm one of them take care of your wife now otherwise she will abandon you when you get old she will be leaving you anaenda chama anakuachia chai kwa ramos those are her words and if there was a staff meeting this is what she would tell us have a saving kacha usikure mshahara yote another thing to exist exiting student she would have said this don't go back to the village hang around and look for a job and she would narrate her story of what made her be successful alitembea nairobi all the way from muranga akaona mata akaona good life in nairobi na akasema aise rudi geshagi so hata exiting student anawambia wasirudi in their villages she was also very passionate about pregnancy and how young people would avoid pregnancies and she would give the advice and I will quote you are value depreciates by 50% if you get pregnant outside wedlock of course she was quick to say if you already have a baby there is nothing to lose about student discipline which she was i remember vividly even in the last graduation she talked about this discipline and success goes together that's what she has always said of course to the male staff members na musinichukie this is a fact she used to say leave my house these are female student wait until they finish their education ama mtavute huko nje i hope you will be doing the same to all the students she would say identify and nurture your talents you never know lastly i want to give an assurance that madam lizzy wanyoike who we loved is gone but her legacy is here with us the value she has planted in all of us the value she has planted in all of us will continue na kuhakikishia wazazi wanafunzi na everybody else that whatever how uh, whatever we have been doing will continue and you should not feel a worried why because madam lizzy had established very clear structures on how departments are run across all the campuses and the directors uh, will be
talking later to the students about that assurance. Lest in peace our mom, mentor, a law model, pillar, the beacon of hope, our teacher, our defender, and the love of many hearts. God keep her in eternal peace. Thank you. Leo naongea nikiwa nimejinyenyekeza mimi leo ni mpole because my seniors are here I like from my directors staki eh uh, ni discuss nikieta pande ya kanisa uh, venerable joseph is our archdeaconary ya roiro so staki aambie mchungaji wangu I be discommunicated from the church so atakuwa uh, mpole but more so a person we have worked together here for a number of years aliposikia hii maneno amefika hapa na sio mwingine ni uh, our lady arono our lady arono is the ps in uh, parliamentary services under the office of uh, um, uh, honorable musalia mudavadi na amekuja hapa kuleta rabi rabi zake and i hope all of us who are here will be inspired that you could be seated here today next time uletwe na bodyguard na gari ya nguvu yenye nimeona madam ps sasa tumkaribishe madam ps kwa makofi 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 karibu madam Okay, thank you very much, Munene. Uh, uh, our clergy, members of family, uh, all of us, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I know you're really scorching in the sun, and uh, I would not want to take a lot of time. Uh, my name is Aurelia Rono, as it has been said. I'm the principal secretary in the Department for Parliamentary Affairs in the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary and Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs. I did not manage to come yesterday to the church and uh, next week I will not be around, I will not make it. Then I chose to come and condole with the family, the students, the relatives and the friends today. My chapter, my story, sorry, has a whole chapter belonging to this lady who rested. When I graduated in 2007 at Egerton University, I came to Nairobi, and 2008, I went to an institution, uh, that time it was in a cooperative, cooperative house, um in Nairobi I looked I requested for a position to serve in this uh, high institution and I was accepted It was in this college so we we grew I grew up there cooperative uh, at cooperative then we went to Ronald Gala and then uh, before that at Kacha House then we went to Ronald Gala by that time she was constructing here then we came here So I served with her from 2008 to 2013. So it's a whole chapter in my life. It was in this institution where I changed my career. I graduated at Egerton University as a, a science uh, teacher. I did education, uh, maths and chemistry with science. But when I came here, I was given an opportunity This lady, wonderful lady here of rested, could give people opportunities. I was given an opportunity uh, to also assist the business department in uh, by lecturing mathematics unit. That's when I realized that uh, in business studies, you apply what you learn in uh, the, the science environment. It is here where I decided because 
she used to encourage us to tell us that you can be whatever you want to be in life only if you work hard and smart if you are committed and if you believe in God it was here where I changed then my career from a science teacher to business environment as I talk to you I'm graduating a PhD a business administration, administration finance option and it was uh, it's courtesy of my encouragement ladies and gentlemen students who are here I want to repeat our words we can be whatever we want to be in this world only if you have God first you work hard and smart you believe in yourself and you be focused I don't want to take my time. Just uh, allow me to to read uh, my tributes because if I just talk freely like this, I'll take a lot of time because I'll remember so many things that she used to tell us. So today we gather with heavy hearts to bid farewell to a remarkable soul, a true visionary, and the heart and soul of Nairobi Institute of Business Studies and the Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory School, Madam Lizzie Wanyoike. It is with profound sadness that we acknowledge the passing of a woman who left an indelible mark on our lives. I've told you that in the year 2008, Madam Lizzie extended her welcoming hand to many of us, including myself providing not just a job, but an opportunity to be a part of the educational journey at Nairobi Institute of Business Studies. As a mentor, she was a beacon of encouragement, always fostering an environment where innovation and dedication thrived. Her commitment to excellence was infectious, setting the standard for all of us fortunate enough to work under her leadership. Madam Lizzie possessed a rare combination of resilience and kindness, and we've seen that from the many, many students she has supported. Her tireless work ethic inspired us to reach new heights, and her genuine care for each member of Nip's family created a sense of belonging that transcend the professional realm. I want to, uh, to say that for me to reach this level where I am a peer, it is through her encouragement. It is through her motivation. Today, as we mourn her departure, let us also celebrate the legacy she leaves behind. The Nairobi Institute of Business Studies and the Preparatory School stands as a testament to her dedication and unwavering spirit. Our classrooms echo with the wisdom she imparted, and the corridors resonate with the memories of a leader who not only believed in education, but also in the potential of every individual to make a difference. I remember uh, I did my master's program when I was in, still in this institution. And when I graduated, I went and explained to her and she was very happy. She went ahead to write a letter to me, which I still have in my uh, file, congratulating me for graduating uh, in my master's studies. As we navigate through this difficult moment, let us remember Madame Liz for the inspiration she was. Let her legacy be the guiding light that encourages us to continue the noble work she started. In her memory, let us rededicate ourselves to the principle of hard work, encouragement, and the pursuit of excellence that she so passionately embodied. To Madam Lisi's Wanyoike's beloved children, cherished relatives and dear friends and dear students, in these difficult moments, our heart extends towards you with deepest sympathy and condolences. The loss of Madam Liz is not just a sorrow for those who had the privilege of working alongside her, 
but a profound void for each one of you who shared the warmth of her love and championship. To her children, know that your mother was not only a beacon of strength for us at NIPS, but a source of boundless love and support for you. Her legacy lives on in the value she instilled and the love she generously shared. May you find solace in the beautiful memories you've created together and need the knowledge that our spirit continues to guide you. To her relatives, family, and friends, may you find comfort in the shared memories that echo the laughter, wisdom, and love that Madame Liz bestowed upon all fortunate enough to know her. Your grief is shared, and in this collective morning, may you find strength to navigate through these challenging times. As we collectively mourn the passing of a remarkable woman, let us remember that in grief, we also find unity. The legacy of Madame Liz Wanyoike is not only in the walls of Nibs, but woven into the fabric of the lives she touched. May the outpouring of love from friends and family surrounds you like a gentle embrace, offering strength and support as you navigate through this profound loss. May Madam Liz Wanyoike rest in eternal peace, knowing that the seeds of wisdom and encouragement she planted will continue to bloom in the hearts and mind of all who had the privilege of knowing her. Thank you so much, Napoleon Isan. Tumpongezo kama kofi mazuri, tafadhali. Asante sana. Kwa nafasi, naomba tumtambue uwepo wa wazazi wote ambao uliweza kuja kuomboleza nasi. Wazazi wote wa Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory Senior School, tafadhali nisimameni mahali ambapo umeka kwa heshima kubwa tu. Wazazi wote walio kuja kuomboleza na familia ya Dr. Lizzie, tuwapigieni makofi mazuri tafadhali, asanteni sana. God bless you so much. Tukua nanyi jumane kule gatanga. Mungu wabariki sana. Pia kuna kikundi cha ICM. ICM tafadhali simameni wale pali ambao. Tuwapongezo kwa makofi mazuri pia hao. Imekuwa timu ambayo imetembea na chuo hiki kwa muda mrefu na tunawapongeza. Basi kwa nafasi hii mtamwalika bwana Waweru ambaye ndiye mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya msingi alizo nyoke hadi atoe shukrani kwa wote ambao walijumuika nasi. Tumpigie makofi mwalimu Waweru anapotoa shukrani zake. Asante sana bwana Onespas. Uenda ikawa umeshinda ukiongea nasi na hatujajua ama kutambua jina lako. Huyo ni Onesmus mwenzake ni Baraza. Venerable Canon Joseph kwa ruhusa yako naomba unikubalie nifanye ile jukumu ambayo nimeitiwa. My name is Simon Waweru, the head teacher Lizzie Wanyoke Preparatory School. I have been asked to come here for a very singular duty to appreciate all of us from different groups that are seated here including those who are watching. Allow me first to appreciate our God Almighty whom through his own deeds that we cannot question has taken our loved mom and that is why we are all here. Had it not been for his will we wouldn't have been here. We appreciate God and Again, I take this opportunity to appreciate the members of the clergy and in absentia, right Reverend Professor Julius Wanyoike, who gave us a sermon. And because of many reasons in his diary, he couldn't manage to be with us till this moment. We appreciate him, all the pastors, reverends, evangelists around. God bless you for gracing this moment. We appreciate you. Allow me once again to remember the family of the late Madam Lizzie Wanyoike, represented here by Director Eric, 
We want to thank you for the noble time that you have given us to fellowship with you in various forums at home, here in our Russia building, fourth floor every day, and in the church yesterday. We have witnessed warm welcome every time that we fellowship with you. God bless you. And as everybody is calling upon you guys, we ask that you continue with the legacy that Madame has left to all of us. I want to remember again in a special way the parents for both Nibs Technical College and Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory School. We have constantly received your messages of condolences both in written and calls that you have made to us and we appreciate you for the gesture of standing with us during this difficult moment. And even gracing this occasion, we don't want to take it for granted. We understand today was a working day, but because of the respect that you have given to our mom, you left aside your busy schedules to come and be with us. May God bless you. We have the entire human resource for all the Lizzy Wanyoike establishments, the schools, both here in Kiambu and in Nairobi campus. We are all here across all the departments. We want to appreciate you for the way you have continued to stand with the family of Lizzie Wanyoike in prayers and in all other gestures. May God bless you. And as we continue to prepare ourselves to give our director a befitting send-off on Tuesday, we want to ask that God continue uh, working through us to do all the duties towards that particular day. Seated with us here, we want to appreciate the presence of NIBS Technical College students, both current and alumni. We cannot say much. You guys have braved the scorching sun just because of the respect that you give to our mom. Wherever you are, including those who are up in the building, we want to say God bless you so much. We had a group of alumni who are here and we want to appreciate that others are watching us live. You have taken your time because of the respect that you have had with our mom. Mungu our bariki sana. Uh, we had our PS who was here and any other government official who probably was in our midst or is following us. We have received your support, diverse. We want to ask that God bless you. And as we continue, we want to ask that you will journey with us till Tuesday when we shall be ending this journey of resting our CEO. Friends and relatives of the family, God bless you wherever you are. And we have seen your input towards the preparations that are going on on a daily basis. Um, in front of us, I can recognize members of the further stage across all print and electronic media. From the time our mom rested on Sunday, we have seen the publicity that you have given to our dear mom, not because we have invited you. This is a very positive gesture that you have shown. Our mom was a friend of media, and from that day, we can attest that you have really done a lot. You have been in all the forums that are going on uh, at home in the church yesterday, and you are here today. May God bless you as you continue to journey with us as we prepare for Tuesday function. We have an organizing committee that is going on here at college and Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory and Senior School. It's a team that has organized for this event for today. Mungu Wabariki, as you continue to do all the assignments that we have been given towards Tuesday. We had a couple of head teachers and principals from other private and public schools that we had invited, and most of them um, noted their presence. Wherever you are seated, I want to say a big thank you to all of you. A number of service providers with us here including the ones that are taking video, Jamu, we appreciate your work wherever you are and we have seen you following us even at home. You are doing very good work courtesy of our late mom, Mungu Akubariki Sana. 
I will not forget to appreciate the MCs of today. In most cases, these are guys who are forgotten. So Baraza and Onespas, God bless you for taking us through. Um, finally, we have a gentleman who is not with us here, our administrator, Mr. Jenga. Um, Mr. Jenga is uh, synonymous to Lips and Lizzie Wanyoike. You cannot mention those two institutions and separate them from that gentleman. It is because of, in, because of his input to the progress of those two institutions. We want to appreciate him. He is doing a lot of work at this time, standing with the family and doing much more what the family cannot be able to do at this time. And as he continues to provide guidance to us, we want to assure everybody who is seated here that we will be very keen, very keen to follow his guidance and most importantly, bound by the values and the principles that Madam Lizzie Wanyoike has taught all of us. As I wind up, if you were enlisted in the group of those who are meant to speak, and probably by virtue of time, we want to request, if you did not speak, Tafadhali Usamehe, my MC is where to, si kupenda kwao. As you journey home, we want to make just a few announcements. We have mentioned that our mom will be laid to rest at Gatanga. The function will be held at Gatanga CCM Primary School, and the barrier is just behind the primary school on Tuesday. We are informed by the committee that uh, once the body leaves Lee Funeral Home, it will proceed here and we will have a, a session of last respect to our mom, after which we are going to form a convoy towards Gatanga. We are calling upon all our parents who will be able to reserve that day from Madam Lizzie to be here at 8 a.m. And for the parents who are here from Lizzie Wanyoike Preparatory, we want to just inform you that we will be setting a few learners to be with us who will be under our care on that particular day. But the rest, if you would wish to be accompanied by your son or daughter, we shall really appreciate that. Otherwise, as you leave for home, God bless you. May the journey masses of the Almighty God be with you till we meet again on Tuesday by the grace of God. Buana Yesu awabariki. Asante sana, asante sana. Pia ni kushukuru bwana waweru kwa kutoa shukurani kwa watu wote. Pia wewe usisahaulike kwa maana umetoa shukurani. Na gadhoshia mwanya kwa ajili ya Wega TV wale ambao wanatuangalia kutoka kwenye Wega TV. Asanteni sana for covering for us. Uh, baada ya maombi ya mwisho kutakuwa na vinywaji na vilio vilivyoandaliwa kwa ajili ya heshima za mama yetu daktari Liz Wanyoike. Kwa hivyo baada ya maombi ya mwisho tutaongozwa na Canon Joseph tunaomba kushiriki vinywaji na vilio hivyo kwa ajili ya heshima zake daktari. Karibu Canon Joseph. Shall we all stand for the final prayers? Let us all stand. And to all of you who graced this occasion, once again, as Antony, let us pray. Our God and our Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for the 73 years that you had given us your servant, our mother, our mentor, our counselor, and all the beautiful names that we have for your servant, Manda Muliz. Want to thank you for how he touched our lives in different ways and the impact that he has left in us. For the many questions that are ringing in our minds, some that will never be answered until you come again. 
for the many wishes that are coming and oozing out from our mouth as we remember your servant, Madam Liz Wanyoike, for who she was, for the dream that she had for each one of us, the dream that she had for Riz Preparatory and the NIBS Technical College. We honor you. Now because you have called her home, help our hearts to accept that you have done the best. And may her legacy continue to reign in this land and beyond. And we pray for all her establishments that they will continue to flourish because they are laid at a strong foundation. We thank you for all the memorial services that have happened, that which happened yesterday, that which has happened today, and even for the many meetings that will continue up to Tuesday when we shall lay her to rest. All these plans we lay them unto you, that you will make them fruitful to the honor and the glory of your name. Continue to pray for the nuclear family, the children, the grandchildren, the brothers and sisters, and those who worked very closely to your servant and with your servant Liz. That as we agonize of her demise, may your light shine on our way as we carry out her legacy. For the memorial service that we have had this day and all that has spoken to our ears, we commend everything into your able hands and pray for your blessings. As we depart from this place to respective places, for those who will go to class, for those who go to library, and for those who will go to rest this afternoon, Lord, we pray for your blessings and for your grace. And we leave the entire Rizwan Yoike establishment into your able hands. That they will continue to flourish to the honor and the glory of your name. And our brothers and sisters, into the loving arms of God who called Liz, we commend you. May the Lord graciously look at each one of you with his grace and favor. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and wipe the tears from your eyes. And now may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with the entire Lizwanyoike Preparatory Nibs Institute and all of us and remain with us, walk with us, and remain in our hearts, both now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. We wish you all the best. See you on Tuesday as we bid her the final farewell. Onesmas, back to you. Thank you, thank you, Canon Joseph. Asante sana. Basi ntoma kwa eshi makubwa tuwa rusu makasisi pamoja na familia ya Dr. Elizi wakiongozo na munene wa ongozane kumbusho ni kwamba juma tatu usiku kutakuwa na candle lighting hapa hapa lizi hapa nibs technical college kutakuwa na candle lighting papa hapa tu tutaongozwa baadaye siku hiyo juma tatu usiku kutoka mwendo wa saa 12 jioni hadi majira ya baadaye asanteni sana nyote kwa kuvumilia na kwa upendo wenu ambao umeonyesha Mungu awabariki sana. Ntaomba wazazi wao wa kwanza kupokea vinywaji tafadhali. Wazazi wetu kwa heshima kubwa pokeeni vinywaji mkuu wa kwanza kisha mtafuatwa na wageni wetu ambao walikuwa wamejiunga nasi kutoka Kimbo pamoja na wanafunzi wote wa Technical College na wote waliofika. Asanteni DJ tupatie mziki pole pole chini kwa chini katika mwongolezi.